Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. Today's video, we're coming up on Father's Day, and I wanted to do a short video to thank the fathers that are present in their kids' lives. And I also want to thank the stepfathers. I know I do videos and I do talk about it's probably not a good idea being a stepfather. I was one, I'm not going to harp on it too much, but if you are a father in any capacity, and you're doing everything you can to educate, uplift, support a child, whether it's your child or not, this video is for you. I want to celebrate you. I want to take a moment to thank you because sometimes being a father really is a thankless job. If you look at Mother's Day, it's blasted everywhere and they're expected to get all this cool stuff. Father's Day, you're lucky if you get a new pair of underwear, some socks, maybe a fucking tie. It's not really celebrated. There's various reasons for that. If you go back into a lot of my videos, you can certainly blame uh, society, the feminist movement, trying to break up the family, all that. But this particular video, if you're doing everything you can for a child who can't do anything for you, this is what I'm talking about. Helping somebody, that young child, who really can't do anything for you, but you're giving him or her that knowledge, that wisdom, that direction that they need, and you're not quitting on them. Man, you're a fucking hero. You're a fucking hero in my book because a lot of men, all they know is quit. They quit on their family. They quit on their kids. Sometimes they go and start whole new families and they quit on them. But this isn't you. This is not the type of man, if you're watching this, who you are. Most people who watch my content are already winners. They're already fairly high level. They're already fairly high value or they're on their path to becoming high level or high value. So you're not going to be this type of man because you just wouldn't watch this content. I know we just get one day and that's okay. We're not looking for external validation. It is nice to say, it is nice to hear somebody thank us. It is nice to have a day where you are celebrated. But as men, we don't necessarily need that. What we actually need is the support every day from our family is to know that they see us doing everything we can. They see us going to work. They see us mowing the lawn or showing our children how to fix stuff. I just showed my son at another company I have, we had some light fixtures that needed to be done and he is always willing to, to learn new stuff. The reason why he became a mechanic is because I used to teach him how to change brakes and rotate tires and change oil. The basics. I'm not like this master mechanic, but I taught him that stuff and he was intrigued in things that are broken and now become fixed. And through his hands, he can do that. So I teach him, and my daughter too, by the way. My daughter knows how to run a lot of electrical that you wouldn't think a woman knew how to do. She can troubleshoot an electric outage or an electric issue from a switch or a plug all the way back to the panel. She can figure out what's wrong. My son can do the same thing, basic plumbing. This is what I'm talking about. Whatever knowledge you have as a man, maybe you're a plumber, maybe you're a jack of all trades, maybe you're a banker, maybe you're a doctor. Whatever knowledge you have, whatever gifts you have, you need to teach and show your kids. You need to educate them and be there for them, be present for them. Don't quit on them. That's inherently what a father is. That's not just what one day is, that's us every day, showing up for our family, showing up for our kids. I have a girlfriend who has two smaller kids. Now remember, she's 12 years younger than I am, and so obviously her kids are 12 and seven, gonna be eight soon. My kids are 23 and 20, huge age difference. And sometimes when I'm hanging out with my girlfriend and her kids, the energy younger kids have, I'm not used to. So sometimes I do 
get overwhelmed because I'm just not used to it. But I'm trying, and, and they see it, and they know that I am trying to at least adjust the best I can to a new situation, and it's a new situation for them as well. If this is a new situation for you, maybe you're a new father and you have a newborn baby or, or one on the way, again, all of the stuff that you know how to do because we're, you all have talent, you all have insight, you all are smart in one aspect, give that knowledge to your children or give that knowledge to your stepchildren. You do no good by keeping it to yourself. You want to pass it along to the next generation so that when you're gone, you know, I always think about this, like when I'm gone, I know my kids, of course they're going to miss me, but all of the things that I've taught them and then I'll continue to teach them when I'm gone and a situation comes up and they know how to fix it, I'm right back there with them. They'll be like, shit, dad taught me how to do this. I know how to do this. I remember watching him and I always do with my kids the military approach. See one, do one, teach one. So they see me do it, I watch them do it, now they can teach somebody else. That's what I want you guys to do is give everything you can for your family. That's your duty. It doesn't have to be your bloodline. It can be stepkids. It can be... Um, you know, even kids in the neighborhood who you know don't have a father, take them under your wing. Teach them what you know because you never know. It's some you you never know when you touch that child in such a way that you completely can change his life or her life by just being present. Kids need guy boys and girls need a strong present male role model in their life. And sometimes they need more than one, but they always need that unwavering male who they know they can come to with any problem that they have and they feel safe telling you about it. They know you're not going to judge them. They know you're still going to love them. They know you're never going to leave them. That's what creates strong men in our society. These little boys and strong, powerful women. These girls are going to be the next generation. And look what we've created in real time in the last 50 years. We have a whole generation of weak little boys who are now weak men running this country. I'm not going to get into this too much today, but look at our president. He's in his 80s. He's the one of the weakest men I've ever seen. Just like a feather of wind, he'll blow to whatever his constituents tell him to do. This is most of people running America right now. They're weak, betatized men. We need to change that. This is what this channel is about. And it's by one child at a time. If a father left a child and he's no longer in that child's life, I feel it's a duty for another man to step in and do what he can to get that child on the right path if he sees this child slipping. That's all I got on this one today, guys. Happy Father's Day. I'm not going to use this cliche if you're a single mom. This is not your day. I'm not wishing you a happy Father's Day. Just like when people wish me happy Mother's Day because my, my ex passed away, I don't accept it. I'm like, I'm not their mother. I appreciate what you say. I appreciate the sentiment. But this isn't your fucking day. This is for fathers. If you're a man who has children and you're not present in their life, fuck you. This isn't your day either. Go fuck yourself. I'm talking about the good men who are out there struggling and trying and doing everything they can to raise responsible, healthy, next generation adults. My name is Jared. This is Magnetic Men's Club. We'll talk soon.